Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back with um, some Roblox Studio and Let's Make a Game. Um, I am in lumber, but the reason I'm in lumber is to check this out, okay? So the water itself is a very interesting physics engine kind of thing where you kind of do this floaty thing and there's, there's a bunch of stuff going on inside Studio, inside the script that um, you don't really... No, so I'm gonna make you aware of. So first thing that we notice is if you're in the water, right, you kind of do this little bouncy thing and you float, all right? The next thing that I notice is anytime the camera goes below the surface, there's actually a GUI right here. There's a GUI that is either the same height as the water level or something else. So there's something on the camera that says, hey, whenever I go below water, um, put that on, put that filter on. And it's, it's not a filter, it's, a, it's literally, it's a, it's a GUI that's like transparent, half transparent. So I will have to do that, but I'm not gonna do that tonight. Um, what I want to do is this. I noticed that when I jump into the water and then I die, all of my party parts, they float. So that tells me that whatever this script is doing, all of my parts, my legs, my arms, my torso, my head, they're all floating. So, there's something going on there. Let's try and, and replicate it. Or do the best that I can to do the same. So, let's head over to studio. And the first thing I wanna do is click on the water. And I'm going to insert, and we're, we are gonna do this with a, a script, script. I don't want to do a, a remote script, or a, a, not a remote script, a, um, I don't want to do a, actually, I guess I could just add it to the humanoid and have it say whenever the body parts touch, but we're going to do it in reverse. We're going to say the water itself, just to save time. Um, so I want to call this water floaty script, and in fact, I'm going to name my script that as well. Floaty script. This is not going to do damage as of right now. So, uh, first thing that we're going to do is we need to set up a touch. Um, so, script.parent.touched. We're going to call add floaty. And then script.parent.touch ended. We're going to do remove floaty. And we're just going to call them floaties. Um, next thing I'm going to need, I need to know the height of the water. So my height equals script.parent.position. Y. So that'll be the Y position. And now I need some functions. Function add floaty part. And I need function. Function. Well, just a random function. No, uh, remove floaty part. I know I sound like Alvin Blocks with my keyboard. <laughs> no offense, Alvin Blocks. I, I love the the sound of the mechanical keyboard in the background. Um, am I talking? Yeah, I am talking. Um, next, I need to uh, function check. Uh, let's see, is body part. And then we'll, we'll check if it is a body part. And then, oh, we also need to check um, function has floaty part. So uh, this function right here adds a uh, body position mover. It's a body move. Adds body position to part if there is none. This one is going to be removes body part, uh, body position, 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 uh, from part if it is there. This one is going to be checks to see if the part touched matches a specific name. 
has floaty checks to see if a float or if a body position exists on a part. So make sure that you use descriptions. I know that um, a lot of the times I don't, and in the book I didn't really go into too much detail of like documentation, but when I come back to this later, uh, these are going to definitely help me out. In fact, uh, I probably shouldn't put them in there. I should probably put them like out here, but that's fine. So um, add part. First off, if mm, is body part, part, then. So I'm gonna add my first thing. And to check to see if it is a body part, we pass the part that we got from the touch into is body part. So if part dot name equals, I don't, I don't even know, what are the part names? Hold on. I'm gonna hit play. Go to workspace, code primate. Um, let's do head, left arm, right arm. So all these and the torso. So we'll have a total of five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have a total of six. Um, so, oh, by the way, I was working on context versus uh, input, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Maybe, if we have time. We might not have time. Um, if part name is equal to torso, or part dot name is equal to left arm, oops, arm, or part dot name is equal to right arm, or part dot name is equal to left leg, or part dot name equals right leg, or part dot name equals head, capital H. Then, okay, Whew. there was a lot of uh, if then statements uh, and so if it is one of those things, we are going to return part else return false. So what this does, it takes in the part, it looks to say, hey, is the name equal to one of these things? Yes, return the part itself. All right, it'll give us a positive, which is uh, anything not negative or zero, anything yeah, anything positive is true. Anything n zero or negative is false. Ones and zeros. So if it is a body part, then if not has floaty part end, then, so we are going to go has floaty and pass in the part. So um, the part that we get, um, to do if part find first child uh, floaty, then return true, else return false. So basically, um, Take in the part, look for the first child that says floaty. If it has a floaty, then yes, we are going to return true. This thing has a floaty part. Then um, if it does not, we return false. So up here, if not has floaty. So this means like if we get a false back, like, hey, this thing does not have a floaty, then we want to reverse it and say not. So that means it's true. It's the reverse of what it is. So if something's true and you put not in front of it, it becomes false. I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> so then we need to add the floaty. Did I do it already? Uh, hold on. No, no. Okay. <clears throat> so um, local floaty equals instance dot new body position. And we're not going to actually add it yet. So floaty dot maximum of force. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six parts total. I want a total cumulative power of 4,000. So 
uh, max force equals um, vector three dot new uh, zero comma four thousand comma zero. Oh wait, no, that's that's too much. Uh, let's bust out our handy dandy blues clues calculator. Oh wait, I don't have to. Four thousand divided by six because we've got six parts. So the max force is going to be four thousand. <coughs> Floaty dot name is going to equal floaty. Floaty dot what is it power delta delta equals uh, let's give it one hundred. I think. All right, yep. And then floaty dot parent equals part. So whatever part was passed in, if it's a left leg or if it's left right leg, left iron, whatever it is, it will do that, add, add it to the part. So, uh, all right, to remove it, basically we're going to do the exact reverse of this. And this should, this could be completely wrong. Let's go copy this whole thing. And let's paste here. We wanna take out the knot. So if it has the part, then we're going to say, um, Part, find first child, floaty, floaty, and destroy. Just like that. I think that's it. Is that it? That could be it. Okay, let's run it. See if we missed anything. Right here. It's intended to call it touched and. Oh, pfft. silly code. Alright, so touched, connect. There we go. I need to add that down here as well. There we go. Touch started, touch ended. Start. Please work. All right, here we go. I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh-oh. What happened? What? Whoa! Something happened. Oh, oh! <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Okay, let's go look at the torso. Do we have floaty? Oh, 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 come here, come here. I don't need this stuff for the moment. Let's get rid of properties, and I'm just going to look at the right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg for the moment. Oh, yep, it's adding it, but then... It's taking it away. So, oh, oh, hmm. <laughs> okay, so we don't want to remove the part unless we are, okay. If has floaty, okay. If, uh, if part dot Position dot x dot y is greater than or equal to my height, then we can destroy it. Then destroy. End. And let's let's give it a little bit of a weight. So weight uh, five seconds. No, we don't. We don't want to wait for five seconds. We want to remove it immediately and just leave it. Okay. Same thing up here. Um, if we touch, we'll leave, we'll leave that alone for a second. We'll just say, okay, let's do that. So this says if the if our leg comes out of the water or something like that, then we can remove it. Whoa, hello. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's kind of like defaultios, but that's not. That is, we're way off. Okay, hold on. Oh, I still got floaties on me. <laughs> All right, stop, stop, stop. All right, what's going on here? Um, let's take this down. It's 4,000 divided by 6. Let's do, let's do 5,000. No, let's do 6,000 divided by six. That way it's about a thousand a piece. And uh, we'll 
change the delta build. Leave. No, we'll change the delta down to five. Delta should be the change in force, like the acceleration, I think. Whoa. Okay, now we're just bouncing. That's not, no, stop, 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 stop. Um, uh, okay, I think the default value is that. Let's change floaty dot P, which should be the power equals 6,000 divided by six. It's just a thousand. 6,000 divided by six is, yeah, simplified. Simplify. Always be sure to simplify, kids. There we go. Oh, okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Okay. Hmm. What, what, okay, what if we do... Set this down to 300. Set this to 3,000. Just to play around. I just, just want to see real quick what this is doing. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, now I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Hold on. <laughs> what part just shot us up there in the air? There's, there's my floaty. All right, let's look at the properties. Properties, 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 properties. Uh, view, properties window, script recovery, properties. There we go, properties. Max force, 3000, position 50. Oh, oh, duh. Hold on, we didn't set our position, did we? I'm an idiot. Okay, so the floaty thingies, Floaty dot position equals uh, instance dot no vector vector three dot new and then we're going to use zero comma my height comma zero there there we go that that's go duh <laughs> we want it to float at the height of the the ocean not like fifty feet up in the air oh there we go yay. Kind of. We're up a little high in the air. Um, hold on, how's it look if we jump in? Oh, 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 come on, take those off. Jump. Okay, that worked. It does not look the same though. Um, hold up. Move B. Move B. Have I spent? Oh, I've only spent 18 minutes. Nice. I thought this was going to be 30 minutes already. No, we're doing good. All right, new car. Come here, you go. Let's go. By the way, if you guys were wondering why the uh, arm glitch works, it's because it uses a body mover. The mass of the car is more than the body movers pushing up. Okay, so it comes up about chest level. I would say there's something that says if the torso's in there, add the body parts to all the pieces. So there's something different. It's not just the connection of the... Wow. <laughs> I died. So... Ooh, did you see that? See that? The the slight delay, and there was still a, like a filter looking thing on it. Hmm. Very interesting. 
this thing in. Uh, oh, by the way, if anybody's asking about my money, and I only have 800000 on this one, it's because I gave most of it to the car spawner, the pink car spawner. Now that's something interesting. So it does not add floaties. Okay, but it will do do damage. So we're under the water, but we're not floating yet. Okay. <clears throat> that doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. So Hmm. What happens if I die in the water before the float action? Does everything float? Alright, so let's go test that out. Real quick. Alright, so I'm going to walk into the water just underneath so I don't float, but I should perish. Nope, nope, I got the floaties. Stop, stop. No floaties, no floaties. Just damage. Okay, come on. If the floaties fall... Ooh. Nope. It's got to be per part, then. if it's it, if it's a delta the amount of pressure because that would explain why we jump so drastically whenever we go in and out of the water like from the bottom of the ocean jumping okay Go over here. I'm gonna jump into the water from the end of the pier. And we'll see if I instantaneously hit. Hmm. Oh, I could do that. I could create a pier real quick. Uh, pretty simple, I think. Simplicity. Okay, so jump in. It's like instantaneously all parts floating. I wonder if it's checking for humanoid. And the damage the damage does not start instantaneously, so we don't we don't take damage right when we jump in. In fact, I could probably just do this all day long and still heal up. So, let's go back to the drawing board because that is not the way ours works. We're gonna check for just the head. Stop. If the head goes underwater, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. <clears throat> if the head goes underwater, check body parts, then we're going to add floaties to all the body parts. And then um, when we come out of the water, we'll remove all the, body, all the floaties. <clears throat> I think. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, if First child has floaty. <clears throat> this is just to check to see if it's got a floaty or not. I guess we don't really need to check to see if it's got a floaty, because we're only checking the head part. So. I'll, I'll try and do a table here. List of parts equals. I hope this works. Torso. Left arm. 
right arm, left leg, right leg, head. Okay. Uh, and then this for for i comma x in pairs list of parts do And we're going to say this part equals part find first child, oops, child, and then x. Local this part equals part find first child. No, that doesn't work because <sighs> the part that we passed in is the head right so if it only if it equals the head so the head exists on the humanoid so parent parent part not parent find first child x all right <clears throat> we're going to do the same loop right here i hope this is working because i am a little confused as to if this will work or not we don't want to do part destroy, we're going to do this part destroy. Right here, okay. This part equals, um, <clears throat> oh, local, local this part. Local this part equals part dot parent find first child and x, which should be the thing in our list. This part, uh, find first child floaty, destroy. Whew. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <clears throat> I don't know if this is going to work or not. Whoa, that did not work. Uh, attempted to index value. Anything? I did not. So let's not jump in. Let's just wade into the water. Nice and easy. And we're going to keep an eye on our body parts uh, torso and head. As soon as, as, soon as it got to the. <laughs> nice. If position Y, that's not really going to work, is it? <sighs> okay, so let's take this out. Let's take this out. take this out as well. And in fact, I'm just going to control Z this. That was a that was a bad idea on my part. I mean, it was a really good idea, but at the same time I'm like, yeah, it's Okay. So, this floaty is set up for what we want. Okay? So, we are going to do um Floaty clone. Um, we have to we have to name this. So L arm equals F L arm. Floaty left arm. 
equals floaty dot clone. FL arm floaty right arm. Copy paste. FL leg. FR FR leg. I've got an extra space in there. Okay, so left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, floaty, torso, torso, equals floaty.clone, and then, whoops, control Y, F head, floaty head, equals floaty.clone. Okay, so FL arm dot parent equals part dot and we're checking for the head, right? <coughs> so we should just say the humanoid root part. Hmm. No, because if the humanoid root part, because over here in Roblox, right, my uh, humanoid root part is technically like right here at my hips. So if I'm down below the water, I, I can get hurt, but I don't float yet. I don't float until my head's underwater. And even then, the, the floaty script's a little bit weird. It's almost like there's a, a max or a minimum height for all the floaties. I'd really like to know if there's floaties inside my arm already and they're just not maxed forced or something. And they max force whenever I go into the water. That's a, that's a idea, thought, <coughs> maybe. Okay. <coughs> so let's do this. Floaty, clone, 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 uh, equals part dot pair, parent dot, um, Oh, I gotta do this, don't I? Left arm. Because... Yeah, because it's got a space in the name. Okay, so, copy, paste, 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 paste. What is that, six? Left arm, right arm, left leg, uh, right leg, Torso. That one I don't really need to do, but I'll do it anyway, just to keep consistency. Head. And this is going to be F head. F torso. Uh, right leg. Left leg. Right arm. So, right here, <coughs> we set up our floaties, or the floaty that we want to use. And then we clone it to six different objects. Each object is called a different thing. And in fact, I can do local on every single one of these because I want to save, save memory. And then we add them here. And by the way, this is completely just like off the top of my head. I'm, I don't know what Defaultio did. I'm only going off observations. There could be better ways to do it. In fact, if you have a better way or if you can think of a better way, put it in the description down below and I would love to hear about it. Uh, in the comments, not the description. I mean, you can't edit the description. You can only do comments, right? True. Mm. Okay, next up. Find first child, <coughs> floaty, destroy. All right. So that was for the part head. Um, if part dot position. So if the head position is higher than my height, then destroy the part. But we want this part equals part dot parent. So we want to do this part and all of those like this part up here. Copy. Oh, I guess uh, I guess I don't have to do part up. I can just do this. Blink. 
like that. Uh, take these out right here. Take this out, take this out, take this out, take this out. Out, out, out. Part up parent is going to... Oh, I forgot the head, didn't I? Yep, I missed head. Copy, paste. Head, there we go. And we can just do... Uh, I guess we could do dot floaty destroy. Copy. Paste, 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 paste. No. What happened there? There. <sighs> Hope that works. I, I bet this is going to cause an error. Hold on, let's see. Ooh, what happened? Workspace. Head doesn't. Oh, head's got a floaty. Oh, yeah, it did not like that. Ooh. Oh, it's because the, the head came out of the water. I guess I will have to check to see if all body parts are underwater then keep the floaties on. Here, uh, we could just add it to the head for the moment. Because if... You know what? <laughs> Control Z, all this. I know that was a lot of programming, but let's go all the way back to the thing that worked. a delay so there's left leg left arm right leg right arm I guess it would be the height Minus the position. Not sure. All right, stop. Go look at the floaty script. Are we back to okay? There we go. Okay. <coughs> equals position, body position, position, uh, and if it's, okay, there we go, okay, that should be good, should be good. So now, yay, so like my arms shouldn't have the floaties, right? Left arm has a floaty, right arm has a floaty. Oh, I guess that's my left leg. Right leg. Torso got a floaty. Yeah, torso's got a floaty. Head should not. Yep, because my head's not below the water. So, what happens? Okay, let's take my head off. See if I float. Oh, we got floating body parts. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Floating body parts. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say, Code. Uh, can I can I reset? I wonder if I can reset. Reset character. Yes! Yes! 
So we, we are getting the same effect as this, although it does work a little bit differently. Um, yeah, I mean, mission accomplished. That was what I was going after. Oh, before I do let you guys go, um, there is something I wanted to show you. And that was the, the context versus input. Now, these aren't flying off in different directions, so there could be a different buffer as well. Um, this, the... Oh, where is it? Um, let's go ahead and hit stop. And here... I was printing all these actions out. Okay, so... Context action versus user input. Okay? Um, the user input that we were using earlier um, in yesterday's video. Okay, user input is constant. So if you were typing and I've bound something to like the E key and you type out the T H E, when you hit that E key, it activates on user input. Um, that's only on the user input service. Use user input service if you need to have constant control of something. So like um, arrow keys. Like, well, even arrow keys, I don't know. Controllers, controllers, controls, I don't know. I'm not sure when you would use it. The context action service is what we were talking about yesterday and I actually was playing around with it at lunchtime and I found out that there is mouse, action name, input state, input object is four. So uh, let's just head over to, um, that's not what we wanted. Hold on. Uh, Roblox context action, action service Roblox. There we go, right here. All right, so the context action service. If we looked right here inside my studio, I've got in uh, user input state is one, which means change. So uh, user input state, uh, where's the bind action, bind action. Uh, so bind action, user function to bind, where's the return? input state. So uh, let's do control, click developers. We're going to do a search for input state. Uh, adding controls, client versus server. That's not what I wanted. Go back. Where's uh, the API? API references. Uh, input, input state. State. Come on. There we go. No results found, really? Input state? Really? All right, take this out. Let's go to user input. There we go. Input object. That'll work. Uh, user input state. So it's a U, not user. Uh, da -da -da -da. Input state. One is a change. Zero is the begin. End. Cancel. None. So. That's how you can tell if there's like a key press down is beginning, um, a key press up is end, a mouse move is change, um, cancel a special circumstance that indicates this input is now being used for some other function. So like if you have a controller and both the up arrows are, it's controlling one thing at one instance, something changes and you, um, you have to send a cancel, like, hey, you're no longer using that for this. So. Four, a state that should never be seen in a game, especially just <laughs> marks the end of the, the enum. <laughs> well, if you ever see an input state change of four, run. <laughs> um, input types. All right, so if we look at the type, uh, my input object is a four. Right, which is the mouse movement. So, and um, I think I bound those specifically, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I bound this specifically open box, context, false, enum user input type, mouse movement. So only whenever it's a mouse movement does it do something like that. Uh, context, action service. Oh, by the way, I saw people in. Uh, 
and they're calling this CAS. So Context Action Service, the acronym is CAS. So uh, Context, da, 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 da. I'm just gonna call this CAS. Um, CAS, we're going to bind a different service, bind action, and we're gonna call it um, move, or yeah, hold on. Let's, let's change this to move box. We're gonna call this one uh, open box context uh, false and enumeration dot user input types dot mouse button one. So um, this way I can have actually two things two kinds of things are being sent to that same function. So right now it's just the mouse movement, but if I click, it now becomes a click. Ooh, and user input state, zero to begin, two to end. Zero to begin, two to end. So that's the mouse click. Or I could use that for a grab. So like, instead of context, I can use grab. Uh, do, 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 do. Use these exact same things, paste them here. And we're going to, instead of use context, we're going to use grab. We're going to do the same thing. And paste. Um, and we're gonna add some, some different things. So action name user input state. What was the value? User input type value. I don't need the value because I know that it's going to be a mouse click. I, I did the enumeration down here at the bottom. You could leave it open-ended, I guess, and it could be just anything. Uh, I'm not sure. But um, if action name is equal to move box, then if user input value uh, is equal to zero, then print uh, start move like that. Um, do, 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 do. Else, whoops, else if user input, ow, user input in. paste dot value is equal to two then print stopped stop move so but, oh I forgot an end dang it stop 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 I saw I saw end so the grab action okay I'm moving my mouse around moving my mouse click do we get an error of some kind? We should not have gotten an error. Oh, wait, did I call it open box? Yeah, I called it open box. So, that would never happen. Copy. Mm, I don't like that either. Let's, uh, let's call it grab. So the name of it's called grab. It's gonna call the function grab. There we go, that's good. Five, go. Start move, move the mouse around, let go, stop move. Now did the, okay, if I don't actually move the mouse input, it's not moving, so move, 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 anyhow. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of uh, Let's Build a Game, Let's Make a Game. I hope that the script was nice and clear because one of the biggest things that like makes me mad is like trying to follow along on somebody's video and not being able to read the scripts. <sighs> Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Um, yeah, and we'll talk to you very soon. Sorry it took so long. I just realized it's 50 minutes long. <laughs>
Outro.